Hey. What's going on, YouTube family? Cowboy coming at you. Come hang out for a few minutes tonight, man. Blow some smoke. Thought I'd let y'all join me like always. Hey. How y'all like the t-shirt? Everybody cool with the t-shirt? Cowboyism. A few people been asking me about these t-shirts lately. Not what I was expecting, but uh, we went ahead and made it happen. So I will be giving you guys some Teespring information later on uh, towards the end of the video. And if you want to go check out the t-shirts, please do so. Hope everybody having a good evening, man. But without further ado, man, I ain't going to waste no time. I'm going to uh, show y'all what I pulled out today. Out the old humidor to smoke. Uh, courtesy of my man Travis of 253 Cigars. Uh, opened up the shop and sent me a few things. And uh, what we got here today is the uh, HR Signature Hermoso. And I think the size on this thing is a uh, 5 by 48, maybe a little bit bigger than a 5 by 48. Um, it's a beautiful looking stick, man. Nice, sexy looking stick. It's got a closed footer on, as you can see. Uh, nice, dark, oily, slick, smooth, leather, leathery looking wrapper there, man. Very nice looking cigar, man. Uh, this comes from a, a long lineage of uh, tobacco growers. The Rabano family. So this, is, uh, this one here is blended by Hirochi. Uh, Rabano himself who took over for his father. I think his father's name was Alex Alexander uh, Alexander or Alexandro. Hope I'm saying that right. But anyway, man, without further ado, man, we're gonna get into this beautiful stick. Like I say, it's a good looking stick, man. Nice triple cap on it. Uh, beautiful closed foot. I'm gonna cut that thing. We're gonna do a famous V cut on it. I'm gonna see if I get any draw out of it with that closed foot. Nice V cut on that thing. Let's see if we get anything off of it. Oh yeah, we get a little bit coming through there. Chocolate, right off the bat. I'm getting chocolate. Creamy. Beautiful smell on that thing. Nice cedary wood with chocolate and some dark coffee. A slight bit of musty earthiness there, just a slight bit. But we ain't gonna mess around, man. It's gonna be dark soon. The wild will start calling Mother Nature. You'll hear him in the background probably before I'm done with this uh, with this cigar. I've already got him cut up. We're gonna light him up and we're gonna smoke him up. The cowboy gonna tell y'all what I think about it. I hope everybody had a real good day today, man. Hope everybody had a good day. I had a decent day today, man. We had a good day around here, man. Got to send a shout out, man, to the Ryan Real Army. Uh, all of you guys that I sat on a call with the other night, man. I had a real nice time, man. Sitting on what I call the, uh, in the virtual cigar lounge. Speaking with you guys the other night, man. It was a real good time, man. Send blessings and shout out to those folks out west, man, that are dealing with these fires. Those folks down south that are dealing with the storms, man. Y'all keep your head up. Be safe. Really get a nice aroma coming off of that thing real quick. With that being a closed foot off of those leaves very nice aroma coming off of that tobacco leaf hmm real good flavors coming off this thing right off the bat uh, dark coffee and dark chocolate uh, black pepper on the retro hair Mm. 
already getting a leather note right up front. Like I say, plenty of plenty of dark chocolate uh, and dark coffee and pepper on that retro here. Beautiful looking stick, man. Nice oily looking stick. I'm very interested in how this one is gonna turn out tonight, man. So, with such a bold looking cigar, I decided to bring some out to pray with it tonight. Cowboy gonna pray with some 1792 bottle and bond. I hope that's okay with everybody. Just a little something, something for the night. We ain't gonna do too much. But before I pour that up, man, Cowboy just wanna say, like I say, man, I wanna send some shouts out to everybody, man, all the newcomers to the channel. Uh, Ryan Real in the Army, uh, Lee Mac and the boys, man, Ash Head, Cigar Head, um, Dwight, Pete, uh, Smoking Preacher, uh, everybody, man. If I left anybody out, I apologize, man. But that, like I said, I had a few people ask me about these t-shirts, man. So Cowboy gonna make these Cowboyism t-shirts available to the masses if y'all want. But what I'm gonna do right now, man, is I'm gonna get through the first part of this cigar. And I'm gonna come back and let y'all know what I think about it. Y'all relax. Very, very nice tasting cigar, man. Cigar has a really good feel in my hand. Beautifully constructed cigar. Nice, slick, smooth wrapper, like I said, man. I failed to mention the cigar is dressed in a Ecuadorian Maduro Habano wrapper. And it's got Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan fillers. Uh, on the first part of this cigar, it's definitely uh, smoking full in body for me. And I'm going to say medium in flavor and medium in, uh, in body as well. Got that pepper going, excuse me. But it's definitely got some nice pepper on the retro hair. The pepper that I'm picking up now, uh, there's a little black pepper there, but it's more of a red pepper on that retro hair. Nice, uh, rich. Uh, boldness to the tobacco core. Beautiful, sweet, dark chocolate note. Coffee. Got a brown sugar note there. Uh, definitely picking up some good leather. Great smoke on that thing. Good aroma. Getting a very nice, sweet cedar. The cedar really tastes good with that leather, leather and, uh, and that dark coffee and dark chocolate. See that nice burn? Burn is not exactly straight, but it's a good looking burn. You can tell that cigar's got some pretty nice oils to it. This is a very tasty cigar right now. Gotta be careful, cause she is a little full in strength. And, I think the 1792, maybe it was a little too much for it tonight, but we're going to make it work anyway. 1792 bottle and bond. Salute. So Cowboy going to keep on smoking. We're going to get down to part two of this thing. Come back and let y'all know what I think. Y'all relax. YouTube family, I'm back. I tell you what, man. This signature HR Hermoso by Hirochi Robano is a damn good smoking cigar. I think I found one that I could definitely keep in the box. I truly believe that if I found this cigar at the right price, I might buy it by the box, but I would definitely buy a five pack of these to keep. It is a uh, very good tasting cigar man I'm gonna say right now that this cigar is on the low side of full it's full in flavors and medium in body and for this cigar I think that I would only want to smoke it in this size I would be disappointed if I smoked it in another size and it didn't taste as good as this one it is a beautifully constructed cigar I've been having some problems with the burn but the cigar is so tasty to me that it hasn't bothered me to keep touching it up. I've probably touched it up, believe it or not, at least three times so far, just getting through this uh, part two of the cigar. 
on part two of this cigar. Still picking up that good dark chocolate and coffee. Got some uh, sweet, uh, like a, a dried sweet raisin. It's got a beautiful dark creamy mouthfeel to it. Uh, a savory uh, meat, sweet meat flavor, like seasoning on a meat. Um, some type of a, I don't know, some type of a sweet meat seasoning, man. Or, or some type of a rub, but maybe a slight sweet barbecue sauce. On that retro, I'm still picking up the sweet red pepper. It's got a beautiful nice uh, floral note to it. Perfect draw on the cigar. Like I said, the only problem is the burn right now. It looks good. That ass just broke off of there a few minutes ago, but it's got a not a perfect burn line to it, but still a good looking burn line. Nice oily wrapper on that thing, man. Great Ecuadorian Habano Maduro wrapper. Got great billowing foot smoke to it. I'm gonna say that the cigar's got a very nice medium to long flavor finish. Um, not a lot of complexity to the cigar, but good transitions as far as the flavors go. The flavors in this cigar are hitting my wheelhouse right now just right. I'm really, really enjoying the cigar. It held a decent ash, but like I say, the burn is not perfect, but the cigar is tasting perfect for the night. And I must say, the 1792 bottle and bond is helping me right along. So family, Cowboy gonna continue to smoke this thing, man. I'm gonna get down to part three of this cigar. I'll get back and let y'all know how this thing finishes. Give y'all my final score. Well, family, I'm back. The neighbor's out. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's doing right now, but I think he's checking all the car doors on the car to make sure they all open and close. You may hear a couple more car doors slam here in a minute. Every time I'm out. But listen, family, this is Hermoso, and when we talk about a 48 ring gauge, when I think about it, 48 ring gauge to a 50 ring gauge is probably the perfect size ring gauge cigar for me. I just seem to love those size cigars. But this 5 and an 8 by 48 Robusto, uh, signature HR Hermoso, is smoking so damn good, man. This has been a beautifully smoking cigar. If you look at this cigar now, it doesn't look like I've been touching it up a lot at all, but I have had to touch the cigar up quite a bit. But it's still a good looking cigar. Nice looking ash, beautiful burn. Great, great cigar by Hirochi Robana. Great cigar. This is a, a, a very sweet, and savory smoking cigar, man. Very smooth smoking cigar. It's got a beautiful aroma to it, a nice mouth feel. On the retro, I've been getting a little bit on that last part of the cigar, on part three. Some of the black pepper came back, but I'm still getting more of the red pepper on the retro hell than not. I even started to pick up some honey sweetness on this thing. Nice medium to long finish on the cigar. The flavors on this cigar have just stayed consistent throughout, man. From from front to back. Uh, not a whole lot of complexity, I would say, but great transition as far as the flavors go. The flavors just been staying right there. The dark chocolate, the dark coffee. The chocolate creaminess. The good uh, raisin, dried sweet, dry, sweet raisin, dried fruit note, nice leather note, 
like I say, great uh, savoriness, meat savoriness to the cigar. Good cedar wood note. Just a great smoking cigar, man. This is definitely a cigar that I got to find to keep some in the box. Uh, outside of the burn, the cigar has been great, in my opinion. So as, but before I score this cigar today, man, let me just say, I hope I don't seem too dry today, man. Um, I just found out today, man, that uh, one of my best homies, man, of the Distinguished Gentleman Cigar Club lost his mother. So when I found that out today, man, that just kind of put a damper on my day, man. That kind of hurt me because uh, she wasn't just his mother. She was all of our mothers, man. She was a mother to all of us, man. We would go over there, man, and it was just like I lived there, man. So I'm going to miss Mrs. Kerr. So right now, I just want to give a shout out to the Kerr family. My condolences to you guys, man. And uh, we're praying for healing, man. And it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. So as Cowboy scores this cigar on his scale of 1 to 10, see what I wrote down there. I gave the construction a 9. I gave the burn a 7. For the flavors, I gave the flavors an almighty 10. I gave the body an 8. And I gave the complexity and transition an 8. So that gives this cigar an overall score tonight, in my opinion, of an 8.4, which on my scale makes this a top-notch cigar. Definitely one to keep, definitely one to have, definitely a box-worthy cigar, in my opinion. And like I say, family, before I get out of here, man, um, if you guys really like the T-shirt, as I stand up and let you guys see it, Cowboyism T-shirts are out there in several different colors. If you guys are interested, uh, check down in the description. I will put it down low. Um, how you guys can get to my uh, Teespring store. And if you guys want to, man, go out and get the t-shirts. I would love to see you guys wearing them. So, I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm going to sit back and reflect and uh, enjoy the rest of my evening, man. As far as the night go, the HR and the 1792 have gone well. That's my take on it for the night. Cowboy out. Peace.